Good evening and welcome as we join you once again on Date with Danu. It's a great looking day and so happy to have my guest ready on the other side. We do a bit of a test run on uh, our personal pages just before we head off so that you know we are all uh, live and clear and kicking to do this interview. All right, so Date with Nano is made possible by some of our very special friends. Thank you to them as always. Uh, Quantum, uh, big shout out to British Cosmetics, Man in Checks, Vikramada Tree Opticians, Mo Wen Pick Hotel, and not forgetting our friends from Jonathan Studios. And today, who is going to be joining me is the well known and the very famous um, Nimi Haraskama. Uh, such a big fan of her. She looks absolutely gorgeous at any given time and day. And oh, I just hi. can't wait to say hello. Hi. 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 How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So I was just saying Apart that how fabulous oh. you're looking during quarantine. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's really kind of you. I came out on the balcony because then the light, because Anjali's like, make sure the light is good. So this light, yeah. hopefully the natural light will save me. Uh, natural light is the best, actually. Yeah. All I'm Instagram trying to hold this now. Yeah. Just hold it and wait. Quick conversation. I'm, I'm holding and waiting, but it's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Nimmi Haras Gama, you have become such a sensation in Sri Lanka. People, people have just loved all what you have done. Your characters that you have played, the characters that you have put across to us. What do you think is the reason? Is it, is it your... Is it your personality? Is it your talent? Or is it your beauty? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm an actor. So that's where I come for anything I do. Even my writing, I come from the knowledge that I have gained as an actor. So I feel very grateful and lucky that people like what I do. Uh, doesn't mean that it would always be like that. My husband is trying to put this on a tripod stand right now. See, oh, Nani, let him put, let him put. You put, put, and talk. He's putting. Uh, he's putting. putting, and yes. I'm never good at multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to be like this. Oh, ah, okay. Good. This. Um, so I feel very lucky that people like the stuff I do. But a lot of the times, you know, I sometimes I play very controversial characters. So then, you know, it's a different uh, mm. response. But mm. yeah, I'm really excited that people like my new character, Brule. Not yeah. everybody, Danu. But she, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big Neta fan. I didn't even know that she had a niece. Yeah. No, because when you do that, it's the reception is bad. Yeah. Are they here? Wait, no. Where are I oh. going now? Oh. I'm going over oh. here because <laughs> right. Because <laughs> the reception was a bit. In the bad. meantime, I'm going to yeah, take a compliment go. about my moustache. All right. Yeah, no, this. Oh, love your yes. Do you like mine? Also, it's been months. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody commented on my moustache. <laughs> so no, how did you know that I didn't like her so much? You told me. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I tell you my mouth is the reason, man. My heart yeah. is very good. My mouth is the problem. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Uh, but yeah, yeah Neta well, is I'm my favorite. I'm a big fan of yours because um, you keep us going in the mornings on the radio. But at the uh, moment, we're not taking Nara to school. We're homeschooling. Yes, but I know, I, I mean, I don't even know you. Like, we've not really, oh, I mean, yeah. I know of you, but like, we don't. Know each they other. They're not hung and out I'm, and all. Yeah, but I because still I'm, Facebook I'm message skeptical. you. I'm very skeptical about hanging out with like stars. Very scary. Yes, but I'm not a star. I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful though. Now after <laughs> this quarantine is over, I'm going to attach to you like a leech. I'm going to just seated next to you. Attach. Okay. Seat. <laughs> but I don't go anywhere. I'm just you have to sit. That's fine. So I'll just attach wherever you are. So um, fine, yeah. I had I had this brilliant experience in acting uh, in the same series that uh, Mimi Harris is starring in Good Karma Hospital. I had a grand entrance for Aww. a total amount of three seconds, and it was wonderful. <laughs> well, I watched you. I had no idea, and then I watched you recently because it's in series three, isn't it? Yes, I saw I thought, you at oh the shoot. God. I did. Yes. 
<laughs> you were in the next scene after me. <laughs> really? I, uh, you had to take vaguely. like a tray or something. Yes, probably. That's all I did. Take trays and put stitches in people. In that, in that dress that could put out a fire. Did you see it? <laughs> yes, oh my yes. God. But yeah. I think you were the brightest out of the whole lot. Oh, thank you. I hope nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> because the color was such. But it was oh, such yes, a great experience. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was such a great experience. And we were told not to put up any photographs. But that doctor, I'm telling you, how can you go without a heart problem? <laughs> I thought you were you about were... to say something else. <laughs> How can you go without heart problem after looking at him? And you just don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, is that's that my dog. Is that us laughing or is someone else laughing? That's my dog. dog. Laughing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Just what's Arjun, can you just spray some mosquito repellent on me? Oh, my Sorry. dog, can you shut up? Anna, oh. darling, my dog doesn't know how to bark. No, I have she five of them. Barks. Really, I have five. When you have one, they have this problem. So I have yeah. this one dog. Yeah, she's like the choir master. She starts. Aww. And then everyone continues in harmony. Okay. That's, that's sweet. No, yeah. My one just cry, howls and cries. She like literally thinks she's a human. So Nara and Arjuna went for a bike ride. The other day. This is a really boring conversation. <laughs> Nara and Arjuna <laughs> went for a bike ride the other day. And she like, oh, like this and howl. <laughs> And so I called her up to me and she came into my shoulder here and she howled and cried into my shoulder like a human. Sin. Sin, man. Yeah. I yeah. Know. So anyway, let's working. speak about Good Karma Hospital. Um, okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a great series. It, it's been going around for yeah. some time. Uh, how has yeah. it been? How have you enjoyed it? Um, it's been amazing. It's been like, you know, are there, actually, are there any other nurses plan. in Good Karma Hospital? There are. There, there's a whole. I have a whole mop, as I, oh, guess right. I would say. I have a whole mop of nurses. Um, okay. They don't say much, but they're they're getting a bit more prominence. And in series three, there was my nurse who got acid thrown at her. I didn't watch. You didn't it watch. Still. You haven't watched. No. It, this is the I best. Just... I think this is the best series. Actually, series three. It's. I okay. think the actors have found. That, you know, they've they've become more. We've become more comfortable in our characters. This writing is yeah. spectacular. We had. Some great directors. We had a first block director called Philip John, who we now co-write together on scripts. Um, but he, fabulous director. So, mm. uh, yeah, you should watch series three, I think. And you're in it, so why haven't you watched it? I know, I know. It's just that I got my clip alone. Somebody has videoed him, sent it to me. And oh, that clip okay. was literally just three seconds. And I thought to myself, because when they casted me, they said, be a patient who doesn't right. die so you can come back. So I gave it right. my all, you know, I just yeah, had yeah. like a who did you day. Who did you play? Sorry, who did you play? I don't think I had gone up to the level of a character name. No, I but I remember in, you. I was just in bed saying, is this, why is it taking so long, doctor? Is it very uh -huh. serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Dr. Globetrotter said season three is my favorite. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. I also, please I also have a little please bit more. note, I'm there. I'm there in the, yeah. in the bed somewhere with like 7,000 people. Oh, no, that's, yeah, no. Being in good karma has been a big break for me. I mean, I was doing a lot of theater before and little small supporting roles in uh, TV in England and in, mm. in other doctor series, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, and it's like they don't think that people will recognize you. And I guess they don't. Because in one series, I played a nurse, a pediatric nurse. I played an air hostess who witnessed a murder. And I played an alcoholic, abusive mother of uh, two children in the same series. Wow. In the same show. Really? So, because yeah. they... Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. to let you know, on a side note, um, mm. I'm sure you know the Golden Girls. Um, I love the Golden Girls, yes. Me too. Rose yeah. Nylon, that particular she's character. Dead. No, she's not. Oh. She's not. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me some really sad news. <laughs> yeah, this person is asking where you can watch Good Karma. 
You can watch it on Acorn TV, which is an online channel, but I think you can only get that in the States. Yeah. But I, I know, can I say this? I know that like, yes. the DVD, DVDs are available at the DVD shop at the bottom of the road from Barefoot. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my mother's... Or you can... Hold on a second. Or you can... Ma? Or yes, you can just mommy. find Nimmi. Yeah, you can just find Nimmi, if not, and find yeah. it, or get it off her. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what I was going to say is, uh, Rose Nyland, Hi, that particular character... Um, oh, I'm sorry. That, I know, I know. Sorry, I get really that's excited. I haven't your, seen him in that's ages. One of, that's one of he's, Brole's friends, right? Brole's. He, yeah, he's my stylist. I, I mean, even when I have to go out as Nimi, he styles me because I'm oh, okay. useless. Sorry. If he saw yeah. what I was wearing today, he'd have a heart attack. <laughs> I think he has just... I think he's trying Had to a heart attack. <laughs> fathom what he is right. So can I finish my no uh, yes. Rose Nylon story? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so this Rose Nylon character, which was such a hit yeah. on Golden Girls, while she was yeah. acting it in Golden Girls, many other um, sitcoms booked her to play Rose in different roles. So oh, wow. In, so in other series, she still continued yeah. as Rose, as, as a bimbo. Like, even she played a yeah. nurse as Rose. So, God, I really hope that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> For the God. rest of your life, you're a nurse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Because I have no, played, I played a nurse twice. And I've mm. played a nun twice. Wow, I know. Let's speak yeah. about your first time playing a nun. Uh, that was with Mother Actually, Teresa. three times. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're a super yeah. nun. <laughs> um. I'm a super... Because I, I think I have a very pure face. <laughs> And personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, um, yeah? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's supposed to be on date with Danu. It's just that we had, oh. I met her once at an interview and I was like, come on my show. And she said, I will, yes. I will, I will speak to that yes, Anjali I quickly. You. And, yeah, yeah, and you will come on Aww. my show because we are just absolute fun. You're just missing yes. out. Yes, exactly. Anjali should come on. She yeah, won't even come on when, like, when we film Brulee. She's in the room and she's like, don't film me, don't film me. And she turns around and everything. So. Maybe you can bring her and come along. Date with Nanu has all yeah. the things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll bring her. Yeah, you'll be fine. You know, yeah. I've known Anjali since she was about six years old. And you when were I was, eight. When I was eight, yes. There you go. <laughs> Let's clarify that quickly. Um, so now tell me about your time playing Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was, uh, Teresa I didn't was play Mother by... Teresa. Yeah. No, not you. You acted yes. in it, right? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> two. But I acted in two. There were two films. Um, really? About One Mother was Teresa. acted by Charlie Chaplin's granddaughter. Yes. Uh, daughter, Geraldine Chaplin. Ah, daughter. Yeah. Did you act in yeah. that? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. And what With was Sangeeta the other one? and yes. Yashoda. Who, yes. That's the first time I met them, and they're amazing actors. Brilliant. I think I have a lot of respect for them. Um, yeah. And then the second one was with uh, Olivia Hussey, who from okay. my most favorite Romeo and Juliet interpretation, the Franco Zeffirelli one, she played Juliet mm. in that. So it was like, but you know, I was so starstruck to be on set with her. And I saw her and I thought, my God, she's aged. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and I went, oh gosh. I said, you look really different. I said, has something happened to your nose? And uh. she went, I'm wearing, I'm... <laughs> Because I, you know, my problem is, is sometimes I just say it as it is. Yeah, She's like, yeah, I'm wearing filter. a prosthetic nose. She's like, I'm wearing right. a false nose. And I'm right. like, ah, that's uh, right. <laughs> so you should have quickly said, I'm also from Sri Lanka. So these are new <laughs> we things were, for us. <laughs> <laughs> these are new for me. Yeah. But she was lovely to work with. And I but played... once again, did you play the same nun? No. In the first one, I had a very small part. I was just one of the nuns. I was one of the schoolgirls who became a nun in her right. order because she started a new order of nuns. Yes. Um, in the second one, I had a big part. I played, um, that's my dog, if you can hear it. I played, uh, what did I play? <laughs> what did I play? A nun. Uh, a nun who then <laughs> took over from uh, Mother, Mother Teresa. Teresa. Yeah, once wow. she passed away. So, right. and they aged me from, I, I played it from the age of 23, I think, to the age of 80 or something. So I looked like an alien when they aged me. I said, if I look like this one, I'm all kill me. <laughs> because I looked hideous. My but God. you were doing good now in the movie. 
So there I was, was doing was, a lot of good. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that's what. Yeah. Now I just want to uh, mm. clarify something. Nimi didn't play yeah. Mother Teresa. She acted in two Hi, renditions Vian. of the film. Yeah. Sorry. Don't get excited <laughs> about these comments. <laughs> this is like God day at magic for me, man. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's yes. go back to the time when I was a child watching you on TV. Oh. Uh, when I was also a child. Uh, no, you were quite grown at that time. Um, <laughs> you were on. Yeah, TV. Yeah, TV. Yeah, TV. Yeah, TV. Yes, yeah. and it was like the coolest channel to be a part of. Like all oh, the so much girls and boys wore like nice jeans and t-shirts. <laughs> when all the others said good evening and welcome to the collection of prizes, y'all said hey, welcome to the show, which was very <laughs> different to like Sri Lankans. You know, we were never used to that. Hey, um, how was it? and tv from then to tv today lots of things have changed yeah. but yeah tv made such an impression that it stayed on wow. up to now some your faces can be recognized because of it tell me about it how was yeah tv days it was the most amazing experience of my growing up life actually um mm. i am still very close to so many of the people that i work with at yeah tv uh like family uh honestly like family uh, we grew up together in doing that show and we learned so and much some we of had... those documentaries were brilliant yeah they were and we got the opportunity to go to places i mean because of yar tv i got to visit places all over sri lanka i got to go and make a documentary uh about singaraja forest i got to go to batiklo and um make a documentary about how young kids are affected by the conflict mm. <clears throat> I got to do documentaries about street children in Colombo. It was really an amazing experience. And we got we had some amazing teachers. I'm from Sri Lanka. We had Shamini Boyle um wow. who trained us, you know, in various aspects of TV making. We had Christopher Rawlings who was I don't know whether you've heard of a show for the BBC called Panorama. It's a documentary yes. making show. He was the guy who conceived it. Wow. one of the people who conceived it and he trained us in script writing so we were really lucky all of us uh in having each other because it was very tough um at yar tv let me tell you it was a tough work environment and we were working 24/7 most of the time but we were young so we could i it could never do that good. now yeah i'd be in hospital in intensive care yeah. if i had to you are doing like one interview yeah. for a week from your house as well so yes and i can't yeah. because people are saying do more do more i'm like i need a week to get over doing the first one so. <laughs> yeah but i must tell you after this quarantine i realized like today my to do list was wake up survive do this interview at 4 o'clock and maybe work out at 5 and i was already tired oh my god yeah no i woke up i my son went uh, we homeschooled which is very interesting <laughs> went to the kitchen to learn we went we will He has his little desk and everything. He has a little bunk bed, and underneath he has a little desk and everything. So I sit under there like that and okay. work with him. Then made pancakes for him and fresh juice yeah. for lunch. Then uh, had a nap because I was doing this. Otherwise, I would be. Yeah. I did the laundry. Um, Now after this, yeah. I'm going to cook dinner. Wonderful, no? Yeah, It's wonderful. Life. Life. Yeah. yeah, from the outside, they must be like actress. Ne, the kote aage jeevite hari lazy. But to see you are very. No but it is life. I mean it, you know I think we're privileged we're in a situation where we we're not struggling I know there are a lot of people out there who are finding this really difficult because of course they they need to earn a wage daily and mm. if that that job is not there it's not available so I mean I'm I think all props to these guys who are going and like stealing fruit from people's gardens <laughs> I think it's damn resourceful because people need to earn money Of and, course, uh, I'm not. I'm not condoning stealing, but I'm just saying, you know, there are. But I stole a mango from my friend's house. Did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because uh, they were not there and good ones. Yeah. I just took one to try. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I felt bad, but they sent us a bag later on, so it all equal Honestly. to me. Honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I asked. Sends us mangoes. Yeah, but then oh, at that yeah. time I asked my sister, "Do you think they heard what I said?" What did you say? Amba bienwa. Are you? Oh, today we had a truck come from Jaffna and we oh, had a uh, proper cart the colombian mangoes. How did they so. get the pass from Jaffna to Colombo during they're COVID? They're coming, but they're coming. Yeah, oh, we okay. get the we get trucks here. Me so too. I live to... in Piliandala. 
it's like you need a passport to fly in here. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite but far. But I think we are we're kind of at the epicenter of it all, but we're getting I mean it's lovely. I'm sitting here. Do you know that I've made friends with my neighbor opposite? Can I do mind if I just touch? She lives in the apartment block, right? No, don't take it off the tripod then you can't No, see. I won't. See that apartment block? Yes. So so we talk to each other over the balcony. Uh, far like this we're shouting at each other and talking. Very nice. We have made like friends. Italy. I mean, like Italy and we have a WhatsApp group for the neighborhood so we tell each okay. other when the trucks have come and oh, stuff. Oh, you're not sharing so. the resources. <clears throat> good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's really lovely. I'm so proud of my neighborhood actually. Um, our neighbors are really so friendly together. actually. Have nothing to oh, show yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, oh. yeah. Let, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, I feel very sad for you. I'll give you a hug there. <laughs> thanks. Thing. Thank you. Thank I you. Almost fell off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So, right. um then you moved on to then we got to know you through the oh. Ado magazine. That's right with Minoli. Yes. We um, had so actually everywhere I, I worked we loved so. I come from that so era. Much. I come okay. from that era. I was very young. Okay. I was 18 at that time, I think, when you all shut right. down the magazine. <clears throat> Just let me. When we shut it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um okay. y'all had a small feature of me on of your one oh. your last episode, a uh, last features which had Darshikeet Sena on the cover in a pink and okay. white sari. I love Bundi Bhatti. I love her saris. I'm such a fan yeah. of hers. Oh, that's so sweet. So I had left by then. I had gone to England oh, yeah. by then. So yes. Minoli was handling everything on her own and she did an amazing job. So So I really like the name Ado. It was such a good yes. like you all made Ado sound so like sexy. It was and especially yeah. when Minoli says it it's Ado. Ado. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh how yeah, was it? How was that experience? We, it was so much fun. I mean, we started off, our office was her car and we used to just literally be in her car and go around, you know, we had to do the, everything. We did the marketing, we did the writing, we did the design, everything at the beginning. That's also um, like an Otara story. Otara also said she started in the car. Yes, she used to sell her clothes out of the back of her car. That's right. Um, but we really did. And, yes. <laughs> and then my mom gave me a little room in her house. Okay. And so we... It was a tiny room it was so small that when our assistant we got an assistant who right, wow. Bhutika, who was fabulous but when we couldn't all fit in the room together so she if we were in the room she'd have to come out of the room and sit on the sofa <laughs> and do the work and my mom you know would give us our lunch it was really nice it was just very homely compared to yar tv which was full on and backpacked yeah it was backpacked yeah. every day kind of out yeah. out but you all know? worked to burn it no so it was okay we worked i yeah we we did um yeah. so here yeah and then we got bigger and we moved into my grandmother's living room and we paid her right. rent because we were making wow. a bit of money and then we moved to a proper office space in the end so it was crazy so amazing yeah yeah so that was the Era of the Ado magazine. Uh, Ado I magazine, still remember. Yeah. It. yeah, it was. But we did two others. A... We had a. <clears throat> I know you all. So had we had a wedding one. magazine, and and we had Machang, Correct. which was the men's magazine. And you all had like a so. magazine for architectural things as well. Not when I was around. Maybe not when you were around. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. then you went off to London. What was your plan when you were going to London? Um. It's a long story but to cut a long story short Danu uh I did a film I did a Iramadiyam and yes. it screened at the British uh London Film Festival and I had no idea but there had been agents that had come to see it um and so I got asked whether I'd like to be represented by an agent in London so I said yes and so then I um I went over there That's amazing That's Yeah. Yeah, so that's it was it all started. by chance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. So, uh now let's come to the time when you did um, Auntie Netta. She was such mm. a sensation. Like, you know, I like I love See, even when I do Jaffna Boy, I like to keep a lot of characters. I love Jaffna Boy and I have a whole bunch of friends in England who are your fans, right? Oh, They love you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what I do is, is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is I try to leave a lot of characters in my mind so that people get to imagine those characters and not bring them to life like not give them a shape not give them a face so that you know it keeps people asking for who in the world is that person uh, I also felt that Auntie Neta did the same you had 
so many people to answer your phone call to open the door to make your juice and everything and all of them were just imaginary characters which made it so much yes. more fun tell me this netta was she within you i think she was i really do um i had this is when i'd moved to england it had been about a year i'd come here and i'd just done um arkasa kusum which was another mm -hmm. singalese film for prasanna vitanage um and then i'd gone back and i wasn't getting any work there just because you have an agent doesn't mean that doesn't work mean that you're going to get it so yeah yeah exactly so um it's all about networking and i didn't know what to do so i think youtube was it was around not many people were sort of okay i'm going to just lose nimi right now i got you i've got you uh you right so what we're going to do is i'm going to continue this in exactly 2 minutes right hold on Let's welcome to the second part with nimi haris i'm also trying to keep my dogs quiet while this goes on uh it's date with danu right here on daily mirror thank you for joining us on instagram these are all new ways of doing shows for us so all right so nimi is Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Right. So it happens at times it signals okay. drop. So it's uh, fine. All right. Yeah. These problems are there, I know. So what, what are we talking about? We were talking about Auntie Netta. Yes. Yeah. So you wanted so you had time in your hand and when you were in London. Yes, and I was uh not getting any work and not even getting any auditions. Right. And um So I I'm somebody I cannot just sit still and do nothing. So I had a laptop with mm. a little camera and so I started experimenting with different characters and um I did that first Ryan Horses one mm. which was the beginnings of Auntie Netta. Right. Um, and she, it became really popular. I did a yoga instructor before that but it wasn't mm. as popular so I put him to bed. Right. Um oh, it was a him. It was a him yeah. It was based on my yoga instructor here. Who right. used to say relax the leg fingers like he used to just say these weird throw off all your panties and that's not what he was that's not what he was saying but it just but he used, used, used to, yes yeah <laughs> so um but anyway so auntie netta was born and then i would use these sketches to send to casting directors uh mm. to say this is what i'm doing right now blah 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 and then it just kept building up like a lot of people started watching it and then a theater company asked me to do a one woman show um in at, at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival with Netta so I did that and that was really popular and then um I did that chat show here at ETV yeah and then I started getting work in England you know because of her Netta and so, yeah yeah and so then I had to stop doing her because I didn't have time Oh you killed yes. the one that fed you as well. I did. And I was I was a bit tired that Edinburgh festival really killed me because it was just it was a one woman show which is extremely lonely. You're mm. on stage alone and you know you have to entertain this audience. Yeah, you need to have just, the command going. And also yeah, when you do that and, and also when you do Netta you have to do this See at the time I didn't have to do that because I was quite plump. Um now but you now have to. I have to yeah because I've lost weight but I yeah. you know I brought her back because I gained a bit of weight actually. Yeah but she's so, wonderful though I've always loved her. Yeah. I'm not yeah. a big fan of her knees I just feels she's such a user. Yeah. You know she probably is yeah you're right she has that Brule. kind of personality. What is she yeah. But I think she has a she, she <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Creme brulee. But uh, uh she has a good heart though. She does. Mm, I can't see she, it beyond that makeup. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? She doesn't wear that much. It's just natural. Come on. Who are you? No, oh, god. Well, what's that? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> who are who are you? That was, you know, it was Timo was like you need to have like a tagline you need to have something that you say and I was like really because I have no idea about this Instagram thing. Yeah. Like you know actually somebody interviewed me about 6 months ago and said to me how does it feel to be relevant again? And I was like how dare you? 
How oh, dare! But it's kind. I know. Thank you. Thank I'm you. feeling sorry for you. Oh, I know. But it was a man, so you know, not a nice man like you. Yeah. And uh, you are very relevant, <laughs> darling. You know, I I have to yes. tell you something. Within me, I feel like you know. This is something I wanted to actually ask you on the show. Within me, I have mm. two other characters. Do you right. feel? Do you feel I'm a psycho? You, because you have two other yes. characters within you. Yeah, like I feel that they need to come out as well because uh, there is this person called Maureen who I used to do on radio those days. Right. Uh, she was wonderful. She was. She was a mum. She she had a useless husband called Sarap. Uh, she had a Sarap daughter. Sarap is always a useful husband, no? Yes. Daughter works yeah. in a good international bank. The son is still doing his A levels. Right. Uh, has a dog and all those stuff. And very middle class family lives in Borodeskar. Mm. Yeah. And I I feel that I, well, um, I feel that Maureen and I Nekha think we should bring her out. Friends. Yeah. Hmm. So why don't you bring her out, man? I think because Maureen, yeah. Maureen has been like he, Maureen has even done work for Prince Charles, believe it or not. Let's hear her. <laughs> yes, you want to hear her? Yeah, why not? No. Shy. <laughs> you are not shy, man. Don't be stupid. Okay, you be Neta. I'll be Maureen. Okay. No, I can't. I've got the wig. It's. I swear to God, it's the wig. As soon as I put that wig on, something happens. Where is and it? It know, looks like my dog has bitten the hair off. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> mom, so that used to be my mum's wig when she was young, and she looked so, she looked so beautiful in that wig. I can't begin to tell you. She looked like Grace Kelly, right? And my son put the wig on, like when he was about three, and we were playing dress up, and he looked like Shirley Temple. But What when I put the wig on, yes. When I put that wig on, it's like something, you know. Anyway, <laughs> this is the face. No, we can't get to the face. No, something gorgeous doesn't face. matter. Believe it or not, my sister told me when she saw your photograph on the flyer today, she was like, "She is absolutely gorgeous." No, I quickly Honestly. said makeup. So Heshani uh, took that. Heshani so the Raj Edelston, who is one of my oh, bestest okay. friends, did that photo shoot and took that. Photo uh, absolutely gorgeous! Yeah. I love your eyes oh. in it. The whole works. Honey. All right. So Neta and Brule. Yes. So Brule came in recently. Um, she did. One, yeah. Brule has a phenomenal body, and she shows a mid area so much. Uh, Does she? I can't do that hello. right now. I have to start exercising again. Yeah. Oh, I see it always <laughs> in all her videos. <laughs> Um, yeah. So tell me, how has Brule been? Has has she been accepted by the younger people who you are more relevant to now? Uh, irrelevant, yeah. I yeah. I think so. I think she um, for the longest time people didn't thought she was real, um, and so they thought she was a certain age that I am not anymore. Mm. Mm. Um, and but then they realized it was me, and they realized it was a character, and so then it was a different sort of. They you thought know, that you were you were you reaction. walking around like that. No, they thought it was no, as in they realized I was doing a character as opposed to it being right. a real person. Um, and yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But people really thought she was real. Yeah. It was. You should see some of the comments that I get privately. So. Ooh, if yeah. I am getting comments when I look like a pudding, brulee like who is me? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you Brule, know, it takes about an me? hour. To make do that makeup, so. Oh, you look gorgeous, though. Oh. And, do you um, have and the foot fetish big. people writing to you? Foot fetish. Did you say foot? No. Why? Mm. Have I got nice feet? Uh, no, I'm just saying it's one of the biggest things on Instagram. You get a lot of foot fetish people. Really? Oh, I have yeah, no idea even how to find that. Yeah. <laughs> to find, they yeah. find you. Oh, really? So no, I get these strange messages about from somewhere. I mean, they've just literally messaged today now after seeing this, but I think it's like a massage parlor. Ooh, yes. they want you to Who join knew? as one of the team members. No, they or? no. Do I want? Do I? Am I interested in you know having Ooh. an escort? Oh, but I must tell you, I have one person who wants to worship my feet. Wash it. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, lovely. With the water. That's a very traditional Tamil thing, though. No, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I'm half Tamil, so that's why I know these oh. things. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you. So yeah. I yeah. So if everything goes off business, my feet will be in. 
Lovely. That's mm. nice. Do you have a foot yeah. fetish? Does that excite you? Far no. from it. I'm really ticklish. Ah. I can't even get a foot massage oh. done. I, yeah. Are you, I love those foot massages at Spa Salon. Oh, I'm really, really, I'm really bad. I just oh. kick people's They're faces. They're so good. Re yeah. Oh God, I'm like my so husband has restless leg syndrome. So when he falls yeah, asleep, I'm, he I'm kicks in the soul. night. Me too. Really? Oh, you should sleep yeah. together then because I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You have just <laughs> let your husband sleep with me. <laughs> yeah. Very easy going. Uh, so yeah. uh, somebody will ask whether you have a British accent because you lived in London. You grew up in London. I didn't grow up in London. I grew up in a little town called Peterborough, which is in East Anglia, which is about 100 miles from London. And actually, this accent I have is kind of like an acquired accent because growing up in Peterborough, where I used to go to the local village school, we used to all talk like this. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, we, we still talk like this. I, I saw it. I saw it over there. Did you see that spit that just came out of my mouth? Yeah. Oh, my Little God. That's crazy. Yeah, I need a, Little a, have a shield a on or something. before we... Yes, yeah. thank God you're not here with me. It would have gone all <laughs> yeah, over Yeah, I know. Face. Especially during <laughs> Corona, you should never speak to them. Oh, my God. Yeah, I better not go out yeah. during Corona at all. I'm going to be getting <laughs> yeah. sick because of me. One something I wanted to speak to you about is the fact that you can't read Sinhalese. A lot of people don't know. No, that. I can't. And yeah, thanks for actually, telling everybody. Oh, that's okay because that also shows that you have done excellent yeah. work with film. Somebody's How asked me to do... try a, a Scottish accent. I can do a Scottish accent too, you know. Okay, a new. I don't know. I take the high road. I used to watch a show in 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 England called "I'll Take the High Road," and so I used to really listen to the know? Scottish accent then. Yeah. So yeah, I can Especially do a little bit of Scottish watch... accent. Yeah, when you watch Britain's Got Talent, is when you get the complete oh range gosh. of accents. Yeah. Yes, yes. Do you understand yeah. a lot of them? Or? Sometimes we are quite yeah. British, no? We are Sri Lankans. We are, we are yes. quite British. I yeah, think we speak British yeah, better than the Indians, yeah. don't you? Of course, we are very British. Uh, oh, somebody's our... asked me if I can do it. Sorry, I get so excited. Somebody's asked me if I can do an Irish accent. Do it. I can do an Irish accent. There it is. I kind of try to sound sexy when I do an Irish accent. I don't know why. It gets quite quiet there. <laughs> Have you noticed? Uh, yeah. yeah. I like the end. All right. Oh, All right. Yeah. So where were we? Why, why am I always going off my question? So, okay. The fact that you Sorry. can't read It's me. Sing I'm like a chitter chatter box. I read yeah. English. I'm also Because I didn't go to school how, here. Oh, you don't either? Yeah. I, no, I can't. I studied hmm. in Tamil, no. But I can talk. You did? Okay. I can talk and um, understand very well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you so can do it, but when I lived here, I could speak really good Sinhalese. Um, although the, when I first got here and I worked at YARTV, like, I, you know, working with a crew who predominantly spoke Sinhalese, mm. um, I remember asking them to stop at a shop while we were in a van. And I went, Hitavanda, Hitavanda, Hitavanda. And they were like, Moko? <laughs> <laughs> my no, sister said Jordan, something Jordan. so. My sister what? did something so funny recently. She told the treasure driver who was delivering the food. Kariyeka thama adpu e dienne mama basala kya na work. What does that even mean? <laughs> lipe dienne. She wanted to say lipe in Tamil. In Tamil, adpu is fire. <laughs> and that guy. So she so mixed them too. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she always does. She oh, always so does. I don't know what she says. Yeah. yeah. So, My Tamil yeah, isn't so very good at all. With... But you're half Tamil. I'm half Tamil, yeah. But um, yeah. my mom used to scold me in Tamil when I was a kid. So I kind of was like, right. I'm learning the language. But I've done right, Tamil okay. films. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I played a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <Hi -yo. laughs> yeah. <Stop> it. <laughs> yeah. I if know anybody that... even pays you so many, if they pay you millions, don't ever say yes to another yeah. game. Seriously. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, of course, if it, if I like the role, I will. But yeah, I played it. It was a, it was a 
Subha Sivakumaran, who's an amazing uh, young uh, female Tamil director who lives in England at the moment. Uh, but we, did, we filmed in Batiklo. Oh, wow. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I understand uh, reading a film script at that location, memorizing it and getting there must be really hard. How did you manage yeah. it? Which one? The Sinhalese or the Tamil? Sinhala. Uh, Sinhala, the, my very first Sinhala film, uh, Steve de la Silva directed it. Uh, and it was to do with uh, AIDS awareness. And I think that Kaush Kaushalya Fernando helped me with uh, the Sinhala dialogue. Um, but it was awful. I was terrible. I didn't put enough work into it. Um, mm. And so I, I really wasn't happy with it. My second single film was with Prasanna Vitan again. He spent three months with me um, working uh, on the he single. He's such a brilliant director. Oh, my God. Yes. But there are, I mean, he is, but I think we have a lot of directors in this yes, country. Yes, of course. Uh, I just wish that there was more funding from, you know, the powers that be to really encourage more filmmaking here because I think it's a, if, they, if they're looking at it as a business, I think it's really economically viable, especially when you put it out there into the, you know, the global arena. There's exactly, 100%. Do, so. Because, yeah. um, so talking about your uh, HIV awareness movie, uh, I did come yeah. and watch the movie that you acted with, um, uh, with um, Nita Fernando, where you were yes. in prison. Right, yes, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, I just got the giggles. <laughs> yes. I learned a line in that movie that I can never forget, which I can't say here. Um, okay. But it Who had something it? to do with but it had something to do with Bombili. Okay. I don't even know what that means. Is that an onion? I don't know. <laughs> it's a dry fish. <laughs> oh, <laughs> But I, <laughs> I acted in Nita's next movie. Oh, wow. um, okay. Which never got released. Oh, no, why? I don't know. It, it has been to a lot oh. of film festivals. It has won its awards for that, but it has not yeah. won this. Which was on a I mean, Nita just won. Oh, okay. No, I can't yeah. sing. I mean, I've had to, somebody's asked me if I can sing. I've sung on stage. I've been forced to in plays and things. And in how the was West it? End. Wow. I mean, I feel really sorry for the people that listen to me because I don't think I can sing very well, honestly. That's okay. Sometimes yeah. they might have been starving for entertainment. Yes, exactly. But yeah. um, <laughs> Nita, Nita Fernando just recently won a, a Best Actress Award, I think. Another one. Yeah, but not for yeah. this film because not, I should have okay. won it then. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, I no, have. yeah. No. yeah. Yes, I know. Not but many even people I can't have... read the script. Oh, not many people have talked to me about that particular film. That's why it was a real blast from the past for me. Um, oh, really? But I remember you in yeah. that. You were excellent. Yeah. yeah. You, oh, had a thing you. With, you had a thing with Damita. You had a fight, no, in our dear Reddas. Yeah, but you all, you all were also like sleeping together in that movie. Really? What? No. No, no I, I can't hear you. I've lost. It, the other actress was. She for. She forced herself ah, on you. you. Yeah, she forced herself on you. Did she? Did she? Yeah. Gosh, I have no recollection. Oh, thank you. I must find out who this Dr. Globetrotter is because he thinks I should do stand up. I actually, I did do stand up for a while as Auntie Netta wow. in England. You have done everything. And I performed, I performed at the Royal Festival Hall. Um, wow! For, 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 but it wasn't. Well, I was with a lot of other uh, c female comedians um, mm. for the women. Wow, of the world, they have okay. that here as well. I think, uh, which was fun. Yes. Carry on. Excellent. Uh, no, My so that's what. So I wanted to tell you that. Yeah, but it was quite funny yeah. because when on the first day when I went to the set, uh, the director said. Uh, the assistant director said, okay, here's your script for the scene. And I said, I can't read. And I still remember him screaming, And the director is like, Oh my God. Oh my God. But that's awful. They should have given you the script a bit earlier than... But I had to memorize on, on the set. On the set. Oh I had to memorize. My God. It was quite challenging. It was interesting. Yes. Uh, but yeah. I can imagine. Well, but Nimi, you have done so much and now you are enjoying being a mum and yet 
Ayan. managing everything. What has yes. been the most memorable thing in your career so far? Um, I think that the most amazing experience that I've had of recent times is uh, working on a film uh, with a director called Deepa Mehta, which happened last year. Um, and I have never experienced uh, the process and filmmaking the way that she does it. And I learned so much from her. And I think it actually, I think it's changed me as a human being. Actually, is she the one film. who directed Water? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she is. She's brilliant. I mean, I watched, she's brilliant. And I, you know, I've been such a big fan of hers. And I remember going to uh, the Savoy Cinema um, mm. when I was at Yar TV to watch Fire with uh, yeah. Shabana Azmi, was, who I yeah. had the honor of working with since then, which is crazy. And uh, Nandita Das who I met in, in uh, the States. Now I sound like I'm boasting, but for me, these actors it's okay. are yeah. phenomenal, like living legends. And to meet these people, you never dream of that. And so yeah. anyway, I remember watching Fire and going, I really want to work with this director. And uh, I, watched, I got the chance. That's yeah. amazing. Because when I watched yeah. Water, it was absolutely breathtaking. It's such a fabulous movie, yes. great storyline, so real. Yes and relatable and also it had uh, John Abraham so more reasons to watch it it had and also the yeah. Sri Lankan the little girl was Sri Lankan yeah she didn't she speak excellent. a word of Hindi and she, you know she wow. was amazing yeah excellent she was excellent yeah. I still remember yeah she shaved her head for that movie yes yeah yeah oh yeah um, we had to do a lot of things for this movie that what did you us. shave <laughs> I did, well, I didn't, I mean, I do, I did, I did not answer that really. <laughs> I can't wait, man, I can't wait to have you on my show. It'll be so much fun. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have you as Neta, that Brule, and Ben Nimi, all three. Oh my goodness. I'll be exhausted. I need. I literally need to take like a ventilator or something after seven that. Minutes, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. I'm oh. sure you can do seven minutes each. Yeah. <laughs> if you need a ventilator in seven minutes, I really am. Oh my I'm god. Worried. Yeah. No. I mean, yes. It's. I, I really kind of. You know. I'm. I'm normally very shy, but I really kind of uh, like just being interviewed as myself because it just gives me an opportunity to talk about the process be of why I do these other characters. I know. I was yeah, very happy yeah. because I felt that uh, Neta was going all over the place, and I was like, "She's I'm like a just, just she's a loose woman, man. She's just all over yes. here, there, and everywhere." Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ashan Dyers is writing to us saying that you are such a huge fan of you. Uh, would Aww. be a dream to act alongside her someday. Why, Ashan? Why are we just too not noticeable for you? But it's fine. <laughs> uh, you know, Ashan, uh, he's a brilliant actor. Um, Okay. I've actually never got a sh chance, although we worked in the same um, in the same company at one time. I've never shared the screen with him, nor the stage. Right. But he's amazing. Wow. Uh, Rajiv also is someone who does uh, theatre. Also, is someone who is who's involved in films. He did uh, a series of short films recently. Uh, he also did the short film Pavement. He also writes saying that oh. you are a great inspiration. Hmm. All right. On that oh. note, I'm going to say that? goodbye because <laughs> it's me. Sorry. <laughs> what was that look you just said? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, so um, I will definitely, I can't wait to have you and I'm going to bring Maureen to life and she will connect with Aunt Yes. Anita. Well, why yeah. don't you, you should bring her to life and we should just do something like this with Maureen and Netta. You know, Maureen, for what I know, she doesn't have facial hair. So just... Put a shave, man. <laughs> Jaffna but boy needs plenty this. of women. Uh, there are plenty of women that have facial hair, let me tell you. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's very natural. Especially now, natural. since all the beauty shops are closed. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. You know yeah. there's, everyone has like a, like a 5, is it 5 p.m. they say? A 5 p.m. 5 o'clock shadow. Uh, there was no yeah. p.m. or a.m. No. <laughs> No, there, but never mind. <laughs> uh, I have this one uncle in my family who is white. I have one relative who is a white. No way. I uh, am. Yeah. Out, yes. burn he... him, send him out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I call him Casper. Um, but he's such a huge fan of yours. So Aww. he watches anything to name? do with Nimi. 
Mark Raymaker. I think I've heard of him. Where does he live? In uh, Navala. Hi, Navala. Okay, not in Australia. Hello, Mark Raymaker. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Yeah, I'm like, oh, he must be so happy. He might have, he might have just turned brown now. Um, <laughs> Oh, there you go. As so inappropriate. Christina so in Mother Teresa. Yes. Oh, that's her name. Thank you. I totally. This I always is your forget your first the names Mother Teresa or second Mother Teresa? That's a really good this question. Is, it, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the questions I've asked in my life, this is the only thing that got such a reaction. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, all right. I, I'm not Absolutely sure. amazing. Maybe you that know, person. I'm you. Who is the person? Rick, Rexon Raymond. Rexon Raymond. Yes, exactly. Maybe, maybe right. they know. Uh, yes. Um, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you because the connection is going to drop as well. Um, I will see you soon. I can't hear you, unfortunately. You can't hear me as well. That's Nimi Harasgama. Uh, what? Uh, that's Nimi Harasgama right here on Day Two. Absolutely amazing. I had such a good time. I just didn't want to actually switch off, but uh, brilliant. I might, I'll be talking to her for the whole day, I think, in, in this rain. But uh, excellent. I'm going to see you once again uh, with another episode today, with Danu, and you cannot believe who I have on Wednesday and you're going to be just wow. Uh, it's going to be a fascinating interview and I can't wait to introduce the person. <laughs> so do stick around. It's Date with Danu. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap.